Welcome to the Self-Performance Strategies Podcast. Unlocking the secrets of self-performance so you can improve mentally, emotionally, and physically. The goal of this podcast is to help you create more freedom of time, money, and purpose. My name is Stephen, and I am your host. I believe there is always an easier way, and I am here to help you find it. Let's jump in to the SPS podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello to the ninth episode of the SPS podcast of the Self Performance Strategies podcast. In this week's episode, in this episode, we're going to be discussing are you learning with purpose? Are you learning with a purpose or are you just learning for the sake of learning? And as always, with all my episodes, let's jump into a quote that we're going to use to frame this conversation and allow us to really understand what I'm getting at here when it comes to making sure that you're learning with purpose, because learning with purpose is going to speed up your journey to get to your destination. So let's jump into the quote by Abigail Adams. Learning is not attained by chance, but it must be sought for with ardor and attended to with diligence. So this quote is telling us that we should attain learning through diligence. We should attain learning not by chance, not by randomly going after it, but we actually learn when we do things with a purpose. Like I said, are you learning with a purpose? If you don't understand how to learn, how to gain new skills, how to implement your ideas quickly, Learning for the sake of learning, while it can be fun, it's pretty useless in a sense. To back up what I'm saying, I want to discuss a learning model with you, a learning loop as I call it, or it's an actual scientifically backed model showing how we actually learn. Now, if you understand how to learn new skills, uh, you will understand how to implement them quicker. So 10% of your learning comes from books, courses, podcasts, like, like this, this kind of thing, but general reading books. 20% of your learning comes from discussing the ideas with people. This podcast kind of leans a little bit into that, but if you're actually having a one-on-one conversation with someone, a coach, you know, uh, a group conversation, part of a cohort, whatever that is, you get about 20% of your learning from that. Then 70% of your learning comes from doing it. 70% of all skills that you build in your life come from you actually doing it. Doesn't come from you reading the book, doesn't come from you having conversations. While reading the book and having conversations can give you paradigm shifts and you can get great ideas that then allow you to take action, that action is where you actually learn. So the whole process is essential But many get trapped in the early stages, as I've said here. Where a lot of people learn and a lot of people get stuck is they get stuck in the 10 and 20%. They get stuck in that first 30%. And that's where they just spend their life learning, 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 learning. Or in some situations, you might still be in a corporate job and you're thinking of starting your own business. So you start reading about marketing and how to start a business, but you don't actually take any action. But you think you're building this skill set that's gonna allow you to spring into action when you decide to start your business. But unfortunately, that's a fool's trap. Unfortunately, that's not actually how you do it. Now, you may understand some of the terms, some of the lingo, start to understand the language of business, but you won't, won't really understand the deep principles that you won't really understand what the sort of business platitudes mean, so if you know what I mean unless you actually take action. Because an idea, you know, as you read it in a book and it tells you to do X, Y, and Z, you're like, oh, that makes sense to you reading it. But when you actually go to do it, you don't know how to do it. It it doesn't make sense to you. But you only know how that X, Y, and Z structure makes sense once you've done it maybe a number of times within your own businesses. And that's why I I make this joke (laughs) sometimes you know, on, on, on Twitter, you know, a platitude said by somebody who has no idea what they're talking about just lands flat. But when someone like Adam Grant or Naval or Dan Pink or Simon Sinek, whenever they 
tweet out a platitude or say a platitude, like a one word sentence of some common leadership strategy or business strategy, everybody's like, oh my God, you're right. You're so smart. It's because we understand they know what that platitude means. They they know what that model means. They know what that is to actually implement it, that in their lives because they have businesses. They are award-winning authors. They have massive companies. They are successful. So that's why learning with purpose will actually help you understand these models much better because you want to be able to walk the walk and not just talk the talk. So when you're doing your next bit of learning, next bit of reading your book, next course you're going to, or next time you're trying to do anything, make sure that you're hitting the 10, the 20, and the 70% off the learning model. And it will help you in life exponentially because knowledge plus action equals skills. That is a fantastic equation that I picked up from Dan Sullivan, one of the highest level entrepreneurial co coaches on the planet. This guy knows what he's talking about. Knowledge plus action equals skills. Now, there's a great quote that is misquoted to Albert Einstein. I actually think it was somebody playing Albert Einstein in a TV show said, any fool can know the point is to understand. So a Actor playing Albert Einstein said that quote. Not sure who the original author is, but it's attributed to Albert Einstein. But it's still a fantastic quote. Any fool can know. The point is to understand. And that's what learning with purpose does for you. Because to avoid procrastination, overwhelm, and frustration, you need to learn and take action as fast as possible. While learning can be fun, it also can be a trap, like I've already mentioned. Learning is not action. It's not action. It's the prelude to action. It's it's the thing you do before action. You're probably working consistently and getting better if, if you're like me. If you're listening to this podcast, you're probably already in the rare air of people who are trying to improve themselves. That one, two, three, four, five percent of the people who actually write down their goals and try to get after it. And this means you probably spend a lot of time reading books listening to podcasts, hello, <laughs> and doing online courses. You may even have a coach, part of cohorts. You're trying to consume and absorb as much information as you can. However, this can quickly turn into just learning for the sake of learning. I know, I've a hundred percent been there. When I first got into personal development, I hammered books and online courses. And then I kind of looked around and went, well, what, why is my life the same? Yes, I might have made some small gains, got a promotion, a little bit of extra income, but you know what? It, it's it's not making anything dramatically happen. And that's when it hit me. I'm not learning with purpose. I'm in that 30%, that 10 and 20% at the start of the learning model. I'm not in the 70%. And ever since I've really got a, a hold of that in my life, you know, I, I, I've left learning for the sake of learning behind me. You know, I... I have stopped reading all the books, listening to all the podcasts, attending all the webinars just because I get an email from a large creator and like, oh, they're doing a webinar. I should jump on this, you know, going to those workshops, doing courses. We all fall into this trap. And while some of them are extremely important for us to do, we need to have an output in them with them, sorry, in our lives. But that's the trap. Even though we know the content of these courses and these books are not relevant to our current situation, we go out and learn them anyway. We sign up to things. We overwhelm ourselves. We might even snap and decide success isn't for us. Personal development isn't for us. Growth isn't for us. Entrepreneurship isn't for us. All because we overwhelm ourselves with lots of information, lots of books, lots of ideas, and we forget to take action. Uh, and this is why the point of this podcast episode, this is why you need to consume a purpose. So what does that look like? What, what do I think? And what am I trying to tell you? What does consuming with purpose look like? What does it look like? It means making sure that the books you read, the podcasts you listen to, and the courses you complete link back to an issue or roadblock you face in your life. Your side hustle, your career, your business, your entrepreneurship journey, whatever that is, make sure that you have a tangible output for that information. You no longer just read the next Amazon bestseller for business, marketing, or personal development. You no longer listen to every episode of the same podcast. Please listen to all my episodes. now. <laughs> you stop going to workshops just because they're on. And you start buying the right courses at the right time. You know, that's, that, that, that's what learning with purpose does for you. Um, you need to slow down and start dissecting what is currently going on in your life. Your work, your projects, or, or any, anywhere in your life you want to improve. 
Then you find the resources that address those questions, th those issues you have. That's how you learn a purpose. This will help you reach your goals more efficiently, effectively, quicker, faster, stronger, better. It sounds simple, but consuming a purpose is a huge mental breakthrough many don't achieve in their life. It took me years to get to this point where I can say this confidently that I consume pretty much 80 to maybe 90% of my consumption when it comes to learning is based on something I'm going through in my life. Yes, there is a little bit that I still drift off onto YouTube and be like, oh, what's this all about? But you got to have that in there because that's kind of entertainment at the same time. But you need to have a heavy weight or a heavy leaning towards, you know, making sure that you are consuming with purpose. When you have a focus on your learning, you focus on the right knowledge. This in turn helps you take action daily in the right areas of your life, helps you improve mentally, emotionally and physically. This strategy makes consuming more enjoyable because you're getting tangible results from the consumption. Since you can onboard new information, take something away from it and start implementing and improving it right away, you are leaning into knowledge plus action equals skills. That's, and that's what we want. We want skills at the end of the day. That's why we learn. You don't pick up a book and think, well, I'm just learning this for fun. Deep down, you want to be able to like download that information like Neo in the Matrix and you want to be able to understand how to fly a helicopter or do Kung Fu, whatever that is. That's what you want really when you pick a book up. And if you're telling me that you're picking up marketing and business and personal development books and self-help books and whatever other books and doing all those types of courses and you're telling me you don't want to be able to be a master of that skill by reading that book, I, I might think you're lying to me just a, li just a little bit because I would love just to get the 200 plus 300 books I've got lying around my house and just insert all those skills and knowledge into my brain and make me this sort of polymath. Uh, you know, I would love that. I would love to, you know, have a Neo in the matrix in the chair experience when it comes to learning. But unfortunately, we don't live in that world. So we have to, we have to learn a purpose. We have to take knowledge, take action to get the skills. So consume with a purpose and you will see your life change. The question I will leave you with in this episode, when have you got lost learning with no purpose? When can you point to a time in your life, it might even be right now, that you're learning without purpose? Take the information that I've said in this episode, think about knowledge plus action equals skills and go out and learn with a purpose. You will not regret it. Thank you very much for joining me for the ninth episode of the SPS podcast of the Self-Performance Strategies podcast. My name is Stephen. I was your host. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Steve Timoney, S-T-E-V-E-T-I-M-O-N-E-Y. Let me know what you think of the podcast. You can also go to my website, which is Stephen Timoney, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-T-I-M-O-N-E-Y.com. And you will see all my other episodes there, my blog posts and everything else about me and everything I, that I do. And you can check me out there. Please let me know what you think of the podcast. I would love to hear your feedback always open to doing a special episode on a current subject that you're struggling with so do hit me up and hopefully hopefully we will speak to each other in the next one so go out there learn a purpose and make it a good one <laughs>